Hi guys, Tim here, and today we're going to look at backup cameras. Yes, reversing cameras, whatever you want to call them. You may have got your T5 and thought, I'd love to fit a reverse camera, but I've had it lined, I've had it carpeted. Am I gonna to have to pull all of that out to be able to have a reverse camera? Well, we're gonna look at a couple of options and I'm gonna show you a wireless reverse camera that actually might save you a lot of headaches. Now let's get the van into the workshop and we can see what we're up against. Now your typical car reverse camera setup has got the camera in the back, there's some form of screen up front and then wires that join it front to back. Something like this. This can be easily bought on sites like Amazon for about £50. Now in here you've got your video cable to run the length of the vehicle. You've got your camera, that's in there to go on the tailgate. Then some power cables and this particular one has a rather fitting mirror that obviously when you turn the camera on you'll see that the middle of it lights up and gives you your display. Well you might think that would fit but as you can see this particular kit is having issues going over a T5's mirror. Oh, there you go. But with a bit of perseverance we got there. You can see that we've got it on and it doesn't look the greatest, does it? It kind of sits here. You've got these wires, which obviously you disappear up into the headliner and it's a bit bulky. It's a bit ugly, but that's the least of your problems. Now you can see that this has just come out of the packet and it is already tangled. Honestly, why do cables do this? So I'll untangle this and I'll be back in a minute. Perfect. That'll do. Now, my worry is that this wasn't going to be long enough. But it turns out there is a huge length to disappear. Not the first time that's happened in the back of this van. Let's have a look. This cable is going to go up in the headliner and run sort of along here, down these seals and across there. Now, that's fine if you've got a standard van or you're just starting your conversion process. But if you've got the van already fully carpeted, chances are that carpet is already glued to these panels. And then you're really gonna struggle because you're gonna to have to try and prise those edges off, get the cable underneath and then glue them back on. Now, if all that sounds like an absolute nightmare, don't worry because the guys at Shinzen FXT have sent me their latest digital wireless reverse camera. Let's have a look and see what we've got. First of all, we've got a five inch screen and wireless receiver all built into one. Then underneath here, everything else. You can see we've got the 720p reverse camera. We've got different mounts for the camera. So this is for what I believe is US number plate styles. This will go behind a UK plate quite easily. We've then got the cigarette lighter for the adapter for the monitor. We've got the suction cup to hold it to the screen. And then we've got a bunch of fittings. So we've got a Allen key here to change the camera on the mounts. We've got these scotch locks here and the little spade connectors as well. We've got all of the bits in the kit to make this a very simple installation. It's just two screws that hold this light in place. Now on this connector, you can see that we've got the green and black wire there and the brown one next to it. So that's the live for the reverse light and the brown is the earth. So we'll tap into these and have that camera connected. Now we're not gonna splice into the wire this side sort of outside of the vehicle. If you look here, there's a grommet. We can pull that out. Oh my God. All right, let's put that back and pretend we never saw that. Now it looks like these are the wires for the tow bar, I guess. So we'll pull this out and we'll splice into the loom this side. Now, before anyone has a go at me about the wiring on this van, stop it. It wasn't me. If you've watched previous videos, you'll know that this van has had a rather sordid past. We still don't know why it's all kitted out like this. But today, in looking at the wiring for this reverse camera video, I actually found something that I hadn't looked at before. Now, I always thought these switches were for the AV system that was in the back here. There was a monitor up there and another Alpine monitor up there. 
So I thought these switches were clearly something to do with that. But oh no, no. Again, I'm taking no responsibility for the wiring in this van. We look at this switch here. Why? Why would you do that? Now that in itself, I don't know why that would be useful. But then we'll have a look at something else. We've got these random buttons here. So I press this one and the wipers go off. Why? Why do you need to sit in the back of the van and put your windows down and wipe your wipers? Very weird. But anyway, back to the video. Now, as I said, we're going to attach it to the green and black wire, which is the live for the reverse light and the brown wire, which is the earth. And it's as simple as that. So that's the wiring done. Let's pack up and go home. Not quite. We've got to fit the reverse camera to the tailgate. We need to take the trim off the inside of the tailgate. On these, it's one screw, I believe, maybe two in the center here. So we just need to take the screws. Yeah, there's two in this handle here. I mean, there may have been more. It looks like at some point someone's put all sorts in this. But anyway, I digress. Two screws in here and this panel should come down giving us access to the back of the tailgate from the inside. Now with this trim piece off, you can see under here, we've got a couple of bolts just here. I think they're 10 mils. We've got a couple of bolts just under here. Now this should drop that plinth off the back that holds the number plate lights. Now with those four nuts undone, this plinth should just pop off. Now you can see there was a previous reversing camera fitted to this before, but it's not connected to anything. There we go, a little wiggle and that comes out. In the kit, it also comes with this 3M sticky pad. This will go on the number plate bracket, so I don't actually need to drill my vehicle. Right, I got a confession. Yeah, I kind of did it on the wrong side. So when you look at the grommet for the wiring link for the tailgate, it actually comes to on the passenger side of this vehicle. I got all excited and went ahead instead of thinking about it. So if you look up here, the wiring needs to come along here, through here, into this grommet or conduit, whatever you want to call it, and then down here on to the passenger side of the vehicle or the left-hand side. As I've already crimped those connections onto the wiring on this side, which was stupid, don't do it, pay attention, don't be like me. All I'll do is I'll just extend these wires. It's just two bits of wire and it'll go across. So it's added an extra couple of minutes to the job, but just goes to show check, check and check again before you cut anything. With our extension cable made up, it's just a case of clipping it back in and then refitting all of the panels. Now inside the front of the van here, it's quite simple. Just a suction cup to mount it to the windscreen and that's it. We come down here. Now you can just plug it in to the cigarette lighter. This is a Caravel, so I've got windows. Now a lot of vans that have been converted were panel vans and didn't actually have rear view mirrors. Which means that you've got a big empty space here. So actually you could just move this up here and mount it permanently to have your rear view camera as your permanent rear view mirror. You could run it along the top here of your windscreen, just tuck it in behind that trim there, down your A-pillar, behind your dash, and have it a more permanent wiring solution. Now there's a couple of ways you can fit this. I've wired this into the reverse lights, so it means that when I put the van into reverse, the camera comes on and I can see behind me. Now with this, we've wired this in to the rear lights, so it comes on when you put it into reverse. But you could wire this in with a switched live, so when you turn the ignition on, it's permanently on and recording behind you. So if you've got it up as a rear view mirror, that could be really helpful because you can see what's behind you. But also, it's got a built-in DVR and a memory card, so it means that you're recording whatever's happening behind the vehicle. So from a safety point of view, if someone rear-ended you, you've got it there on camera. And you can see here that it's recording away everything that's behind me. What's also great about this camera is the low light performance. The sun is shining today and it's beautiful. And even in the workshop here, it's, it's really bright. But if I put my finger over this sensor here, you can see that the lights come up. So even if you're in the dark, it's night, it's raining, visibility is poor, whatever, 
this camera will adjust and give you the best possible picture with its 720p camera to make sure that you can see what's behind you. We've got a reverse camera fitted to the T5. So big shout out to the guys at Shenzhen FXT. There is a link in the description where you can pick yourself up an FX11F. It's genuinely a good bit of kit. I really like the low light feature where it detects automatically that the light is low and then turns on those extra LEDs to help give you better vision in low light. So that's a really nice touch. As I say, it's also got a built-in DVR, so you can use it to record permanently behind the vehicle or just when you're reversing, however you've got it set up. So again, big thanks. Link's in the description. Go check it out. It could be just what you're looking for. And with that in mind, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.